Hi and welcome back to my channel, The Batch Lady. So on The Batch Lady, for anybody who doesn't know, I show you how to make fast, simple homemade meals that you can make in advance, put in your freezer and use whenever you want. In this video, I am going to show you a special, which is all different packed lunches that you can make for your kids getting ready to go back to school, or if they're already back at school, some things that you can change up. This is a plan that's for two children for two weeks that comes in at 20 pounds. So 20 pounds for two weeks. So that's um, 10 pounds a week or five pounds a week for each child or a pound a day for each child. That's how it works out. Okay, for the meal plan, I have got a full meal plan that you can print off stick to your fridge and copy if you want. It comes with a shopping list as well, so you know exactly what to buy. This comes in at under 20 pounds. I did it in Tesco. If you were gonna use another budget supermarket, you could get it even lower if you want, okay? So just to quickly tell you roughly what you're going to get is your children are gonna have a variety of different stuff every day from bagels, sandwiches, wraps, we're going to do some hot pasta and some flasks if you've got a good food flask for your child and we're going to do some soup and we're going to zhuzh it up with some pasta in it as well to really fill them up. This also includes yogurt, snacks, treats, um, a variety of different treats, um, some nice veg, some fruit every day as well and some juice boxes and some extra juice, okay? So let's get going quickly. I'm gonna show you all about the sandwiches. Okay, so on your shopping list, you'll have your bagels and your wraps, okay? That's the two things that you're going to make that are sort of sandwichy orientated type thing. You are just going to, um, you're gonna see me in a minute doing it fast forwarded, but just to let you know there are certain rules about freezing things like this, okay? For your bagels and your wraps, you're going to get the whole two weeks worth Okay, so um, you'll have some ham later on in the next week, but basically you want to make as many of the wraps and the bagels as you can at once, and you want to wrap them in cling film and freeze them, okay? When you are freezing these things, you just have to make sure that one, you leave the vegetables out. So your cucumber and your tomatoes, you don't put in the actual sandwiches. Put them on the side um, in a little box, and then when your kids get to school, they can either pack it into their sandwich themselves so they can eat it separately, okay? You don't want to be freezing tomatoes, cucumber, lettuce, anything like that. The other thing is one of the um, wraps is um, tuna mayonnaise. You'll see me make it in a minute. You want to use just less mayonnaise than you usually would. You don't want it to be too wet, okay? So the whole thing is keeping it as dry as possible. So it can be a little bit wet, but you just don't want anything that's really soggy that's then going to um, make your wrap soggy when it comes out of the freezer. So um, it works perfectly well doing the fillings that I've given you, which is ham, um, uh, what else do you have? You've got the cream cheese and um, you've got the tuna mayo and this is it being made and putting it all in the freezer all at once. Here goes. sandwiches are made and you're not having to think about that in the morning time anymore you're just going into the freezer and pulling them out either the night before or the morning of and putting them in their lunch boxes good to go okay now you've got two hot meals on your list let me see the list you have got um tomato and sweet corn pasta which is on the Monday, and you've got vegetable and pasta soup, okay? You're gonna see it being made in a minute. Now, I love these sort of um, thermos little kids food flasks. They work perfectly. So when I show you in the fast forward video in a minute, you'll see that this is what we're actually filling, okay? So when you come to making your pasta, it's a Sunday, like I say, you've done your shopping, you've got it all in front of you, cook up the pasta that you need and you've got your jar of pasta sauce. You're going to, you'll see it in the video, I'm going to pour out half the pasta sauce into the pasta and the other half of the jar, you'll see it being poured into a plastic container. This is going in your freezer for next week, okay? So you don't have to rebuy or waste any of the pasta sauce, okay? So you're making your pasta, which is your sweet corn, your pasta sauce, and your pasta, and then it's being filled in these. Now, you'll see that it's just the pasta is cooked, the rest is being made cold, because of course, you want to heat it up on the day that you want it, okay? So you're going to make it in a bowl, keep it in the fridge, 
heat it up on the morning that you want it for the kids and pop it in their flask. So all you're doing is microwaving first thing in the morning and putting it in their flasks. When it comes to the soup, you are doing exactly the same. You're opening the can of soup, adding it to the pasta. You can do it on the Sunday, put it in the fridge and use it later on in the week or you can do it the night before if you want, it's entirely up to you. Then on the morning that you want it, you're just heating it in the microwave and popping it in their lovely little hot container as well. Adding pasta to soup really bulks it out, um, it gives it a full meal, and it also makes it easier for kids to eat because it's more like a pasta sauce than actually sort of eating soup, okay? So you probably want to put a spoon or a fork in there as well. Okay, here's the pasta being made. She's made up look like this, okay? Monday, you're having the pasta, tomato pasta with um, sweet corn, a banana, two small yogurts, two cookies, and an apple juice. Then you're going on to bagels, cucumber, cheddarese, apples on the Tuesday. On the Wednesday, you've got some popcorn, and um, your wrap, your um, bananas, the list goes on. It is tons of food for all sort of week that will keep you going. This is brilliant for kids. Remember that you'll need a spoon. Remember also that at the end of the week you might have some stuff left like cucumbers, so just cut it up and give cucumber sticks in it. The recipes are really simple, really easy. It's just about zhuzhing up some pasta or zhuzhing up some um, soup. Really simple and making your sandwiches in advance. I hope you've really enjoyed this. It is literally really easy to do and you can be super organized for the week ahead. Why not give it a go? Thanks for watching. Bye.